G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and I am back playing Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on the PS4. Well, more specifically, I am playing the Band, um, Band Videos uh, Volume 2, which is a Season Pass only DLC. Uh, so far, this has been really great. I'm really impressed with the uh, Season Pass, what we've got for it. Um, it, there's a good mix between lighthearted stuff and story expansion. And now this is an example of story expansion. This actually takes place from the perspective of Zoe. Uh, the name of this scenario is called Daughters. Uh, this takes place from the, um, perspective of Zoe. Uh, and she is the daughter of Marguerite and Jack Baker, who are the crazy people in the house. They are the resident evil. Um, and this takes place before everything happens in Resident Evil 7. So this is when Evelyn first comes into the house and you can, it happens quite quickly, but you can see the family shift into madness, but it's also really good to get a glimpse of them when they were normal before they turn. So, um, yeah, enjoy. news. Record-breaking rainfall from this week's hurricane looking to come to a close tomorrow morning as the storm moves on. Out in the Gulf, reports of a missing ship have... So if you know Resident Evil 7, you'll know from the story that um, at some point there's a big massive wreck ship in the bayou. How it ended up there, yeah, it's questionable, questionable, but anyway, I think they're trying to frame it here with the hurricane and uh, just really frame the story of uh, the timeline before it actually happened. Any news on the damage? The fact that there is a hurricane, it can, it kind of makes it more realistic that no cop, not many cops, come to the house to check it out as well. So it gives you that greater sense of isolation. So we've got control of Zoe at the moment. Sorry, I think there's a bit of frame dropping issue, but hopefully it's watchable. Marguerite is actually normal. She still looks scary as shit, but oh, you know, so she looks kind of normal. Yeah, the there's Jack. I, I really like Jack's character when he's normal. He, he plays the dad role really well, and he looks strong and capable without being a maniac. And there is Evelyn. Not covered in oil, but covered in mold, I'm guessing. Let's get this into a warm bed. We'll put her in Lucas's old room. Oh, come on, can't you put her somewhere else? Lucas is... he's constantly an asshole, so... You know, his character doesn't actually change much at all. He just looks at his phone more, that's all. He's still an asshole. Good night for soup, don't you think? Excuse me, Lucas. Wow, the... The potty mouth uh, Marguerite is not here in this scene. She's uh, quite polite. Change your clothes in the laundry room, dear. So part of the game, the part of the walkthrough is at one point you have to use a lockpick. Now there's two choices you can use a lockpick. You can either use it on the drawer there on the right, which will give us a broken bottle, or you can use it upstairs in the bathroom, which will give us a, uh, I think they call it a component switch or something along those lines. Um, the bottle will appear later on, even if you don't use the lockpick, so you definitely need it for the, um, the upstairs bathroom. So I just went in the laundry there and grabbed some clothes, which we need to give to Zoe, but first we're going to do a couple of things to make sure that we can get the best ending. If you don't follow these steps, you will have to be, or you'll be forced to take the bad ending. So we are going to go around right now to, um... Zoe's room, or well, it was Lucas's room. I think you need the snake key to get in here, Buddy, possibly, in the normal game. The dry clothes. I need to check on the so there's Jack being very caring and very nice. I'd yes, love to see him in this. It's great to see the uh, juxtaposition between him being really nice and then later on just being this complete savage. So it's great. Um, I don't take the most efficient or direct routes in this run, but you'll get the idea. So I've gone to the bathroom, and here in the middle drawer we can use that lockpick, and we'll get a component button, I think it's called? Small component. And that's actually for the trophy in Lucas's room. If you've played the main game, you'll remember that there is a trophy under a lamp that you can press the button, and it opens up the uh, access to the attic, where I think we get the blue or the red keycard. So here is the trophy on his shelf. Put that in and press the button and it'll drop down that ladder. 
Now we head up the ladder here and uh, we're going to find Lucas's secret computer uh, or laptop. And the password is, you're given a little bit of a clue here. Zoe's saying, you know, dumbass, change your password. But we know the password as being 1019 and that will gain access to his computer. Yes. And if you read the notes, he's basically saying he hates his whole family. Uh, but the last note says that uh, Jack has put his stuff in a red box out on the veranda. Now, later on, that'll become important because we have to loot a uh, red toolbox. I tried skipping this point knowing about the red toolbox, but you have to read this email to be able to open the toolbox. So it's very important that you actually um, have a look on that laptop. All right, little girl. Let's get you cleaned up. As Evie, it would be great if we could just They're put her down now. here and forget about it all. <laughs> yeah, so now the power is off and uh, things start to get a little bit creepy. But we have our lighter, fortunately, to keep us uh, Daddy? company. Daddy, is the power out? No, it just got really is dark all of a sudden. Track? So once you have done the little Eevee bit, we're going to head downstairs and um, luckily Lucas is knocked out, which is a great turn of events. Anything unfortunate that happens to him is, is a good thing. You'll understand Lucas? if you see the 21. What happened? Are you okay? Personally, I'd probably put the uh, lighter onto his hoodie, but yeah, that's just me. So once you've checked on uh, Lucas, you can see the shadow up here, uh, which is Marguerite with her infamous lantern. What the hell's going on? Yeah, what the hell is going on? I know. I know. You can already tell Marguerite's losing it a little bit. So follow her into the bathroom and we'll get a little bit of a surprise. Zoe, come look. Come see her gift. Look at all the pretties my little girl is giving me! So you can see now the family is um, pretty messed up. Kiss it happened me, really, really quick, actually. I thought it would have taken a lot more time, but yeah, it happened actually really quick. So once you've had that little interaction with Marguerite, you have to go downstairs. And if you played before, you would have realized the uh, rope is in the garage. And Jack asked us to get the rope from the garage. So head down here and uh, hit the button to open that little slider or shutter door. This thing is slow, but it helps to create tension a little bit later on. So the rope is hanging here on the shelving. The down. car, later on, you've got the option of using the car, but that will actually get you the bad ending. So we want to avoid doing that. So once you've got the rope, head back upstairs and then back into the bathroom. And um, Daddy will have some interesting things to say. Stop it! Don't you worry. It's a whole lot worse than it looks. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And you're not as good as fucking close to me. <laughs> Love it. It's great. She wants me to do this. I have to show her how to hold me. While this scene is really cool, I wish there had been a little bit slower descent into madness. It's very sudden. We can't do that. But otherwise, really well done. I guess we should have been a tiny bit more pace. So once Jack pushes you out, it's important you do the quick turn and just run as fast as you can for the billiard room. If he catches you, you actually, it's kind of game over and you have to retry. So once you get in the billiard room, use the rope on the door to stop Jack from coming in and head into this little uh, side room. I think it's grandma's room. Grab the fork and then head over to the window. Now if you play the other DLC, you'll know that you can use the fork to pry nails off boards. So you got to do that one on each side of the board. And then we're going to jump out the window. There we go. If you don't act fast enough, I think Jack will actually come up behind you. So uh, try being as quick as you can. Once you're out here, head all the way down. Now you can go back into the house through that little uh, passage there. But we're actually going to push through and uh, slide through here. And we'll see the red toolbox that was mentioned on Lucas's laptop before. Now we can grab one of the uh, dog head release, which is a key for the front door. 
Uh, like I said before, if you haven't looked at the laptop, you won't actually be able to open that red uh, toolbox. So it's important that you do that step. When you've done that, pry the corrugated iron from the uh, little doorway here, and you'll see Lucas getting dragged in, which is, again, always good to see something unfortunate happening. There. So once you've done that, we're going to have to play a little game of hide and seek with Marguerite. Uh, I would recommend crouching as much as you can here and turning off your light. She's fairly blind, but she can hear really quite well. So the crouching, I think, minimizes your sound, so it's going to be important. The only thing is you move like you've got glue on your shoes. It's, it's slow. I usually wait for her to go into the shotgun room and then sneak behind her. And your goal is to reach the door here. You'll know if you did it correctly if you get a little bit of a stop after you press X on the door. And a little bit of humanity shines through I'm so with Marguerite. Sorry. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Stay away! Don't touch her! Don't hurt my family! I don't understand, Mama, what's going on? Here! Take it! Take it! Go! I feel a little bit sorry for Marguerite, but at the same time, goddamn, she is horrible I'll in the game. <laughs> so instead of heading to the car with the key that Marguerite just gave us, because we have the dog head relief, we can actually open the front door here. So insert the dog head relief, and we're going to head outside. Um, earlier on in a note, they said our, they said their other guest is in the uh, trailer this here. So we're going to head to the trailer, and we'll see who we find in here. I haven't explored this area fully, there may be other secrets to find, but I headed just straight for the caravan. So you can see someone familiar on the floor there, that looks like Mia. And uh, she's written a little note to the family. Thank you for saving my life. Um, then she tells you about what she was doing on the ship. Uh, don't go near Ev Evelyn, she's a crazy bitch, leave her alone. And then the fourth page is saying make a um, make a serum pretty much so I believe this leads to why Zoe knows so much about the serum and things like that so um, it's a good little leeway into that because people were kind of asking the question about how Zoe knew so much once you picked up the little uh, D series cranium bit then yeah our uh, lovely sister finds us And here we are, everything's back to normal. No problems, everything's Thank good. No more Resident Evil 7. Well, well, now, look who has decided to join us. It must Wake think it's been a dream. Smell the shitty coffee, Zoe. Lucas. You okay, dear? There was a lot of excitement from that storm last night. I'm fine. I, I had the weirdest dream last night. There was this little girl. Well, now, after breakfast... Uh... <laughs> I Lucas guess the family kind of snap out their snap out of their psychosis during the day, house. maybe early early on in the, you remember the last in the event. <laughs> we thought we were lucky, and the next time it rained, there was a mess for sure. <laughs> but it looks like it wasn't a dream, and everything's real. I I really love that closing frame of this. It's just a, fantastic, really good. I really like the look of Evie there. So that is the prelude to uh, to Resident Evil 7. So that gives you a little bit of backstory on it. Um, kind of spoilers, I guess. I guess. But if you played the game, then surely you'd know all that anyway. Um, and then this just gives you, a, you know, a bit of framing leading into the story. But otherwise, that is how you solve the daughter's uh, hidden tape or the uh, band footage, I think it's called. But all in all, I really enjoyed the DLC, and I'm glad they're doing it in this format. Alongside the other two DLC, it's um, really great, actually. I'm I'm really looking forward to see what the uh, what else they can do with their DLC. I know they have a free one coming up, and also I'm going to do videos on the other DLC. I know I've, I've been a bit delayed in them, but uh, I definitely want to give my thoughts on it. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, or you want to tell me what you really liked about this uh, DLC, or if you haven't bought the DLC, why don't you think it's worth it, or um, you know anything along those lines, I'd be interested to hear it. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo. Mm -hmm.